the other side of the world, in the jungles of Venezuela, these maqueritare women are collecting the fruit of the tree they call anoto. They extract the seeds from which they make a red dye, which is very important for them. They are going to paint themselves, ready to hunt. The maqueritare have always surprised anthropologists with their vast culture based on a symbolic universe. They ritualize everything, and in particular their relations with animals and plants. Before setting out to kill an animal, they must, through the shaman, establish contact with that animal spirit and seek its consent. Through ritual paintings, hunters believe they will attract certain animals and scare off others. In their mythical universe, hunting is a kind of seduction in which the men pair up with animal females by mutual agreement. In these cases, as in others, the shaman is a spiritual hybrid, somewhere between them and the animals, and establishes the bridges necessary for the union. The cultural tradition of the Amerindian peoples of the Amazon basin is based on paintings on the bodies of the tribe members. The animal spirits only permit predation if a relationship of affinity has been established. Up to now, we have seen how the language of colors conveys messages and helps in different situations where communication is necessary. But wherever there is communication, there are also lies and deceit. On occasions, giving the wrong impression can save your life. That is a lesson the Asado, a Papuan tribe, learned some time in the distant past. As always in Papua, they commemorate that event by reproducing it every year, so that the oral tradition is not lost. According to the legend, the Asaro village was constantly being attacked by the ferocious warriors of a neighboring clan. They were living in permanent dread of the final decisive attack, when an old man had a dream in which he saw horrific grey beings. Then they had the idea of disguising themselves with mud and covering their heads with masks of diabolic appearance. Dressed like this, they approached the enemy village and scared them off forever. There are many similar stories in the history of mankind, and the decisive factor in the outcome is always the same, our fear of the unknown. The fact is, having or pretending to have a ferocious appearance can serve to dissuade many enemies and often avoids the need to fight in order to demonstrate your strength. <coughs> These techniques should not be underestimated as they have been and continue to be used by armies and police forces throughout the world. Some animals not only look dangerous, they really are dangerous. You'd need to be very hungry to try to kill a male warthog, 
Others, however, use techniques similar to those of the asado. This is one of them. It is a king skink, in reality a rather inoffensive, vulnerable Australian lizard. But when it feels threatened, it reacts by taking on a ferocious appearance. The trick usually works. While for any animals, colors serve to reaffirm their group identity, to find a mate, to hunt, to hide, or to defend themselves, for human beings, it has also been associated with religious contact with the other world. The ritual masks of the Ivory Coast are not decorative elements or folklore. They are doors which open into the spiritual world and can only be used by initiated members of the secret societies of each clan. Scientists have recently discovered the psychological influences of colors on people. It is known, for example, that red accelerates the heartbeat and causes discharges of adrenaline. Advertising uses these hidden messages of colors to provoke certain reactions in consumers. The ancient African masks were right after all. For centuries they have known how to use the power of colors. But for those blind Cuban fish, all of this means nothing at all. Their unseeing eyes are unable to interpret the language of colors. Thank you.